Today we're going to be taking a close look at the Genloss V2 by Cooper Effects. This video demonstration will serve as a quick start guide, giving you all the information you need to get started using your Genloss 2. Now, to appropriately understand how to use your Genloss 2, it's important we know the difference between the previous iteration of this pedal and the current model. Now, more subtle change between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 is you'll notice that we no longer have span and speed on the newer version. Instead, we have wow and flutter, which more accurately describes what this pedal does. Now, the biggest changes on here are gonna be our preset, function, and an aux switch. To enter the preset mode, tap the preset button. To exit it, hold the preset button. Now, there's gonna be three available presets stored on this pedal. And there are more available to you when using a MIDI controller. The LEDs will illuminate in such a way to indicate the preset number is being accessed. I'll share with you a diagram. Next up is function. The button determines what the aux foot switch does. Tap to select the function of the foot switch. The LED will blink in such a way to indicate what you've selected. There are three effects that are available to you by virtue of this aux switch. And the first is going to be a tape stop effect, a garbled tape effect, and a spectral freeze drone. Now both aux and bypass foot switches can both operate in latching or momentary functions. To assign expression to a knob, hold the bypass foot switch and turn the desired knob to the desired toe position. Release the bypass foot switch and you can turn the knob to its desired heel position. To remove expression from the knob, hold bypass and turn the knob all the way down. Next up, we're gonna be taking a listen to the three aux effects we have. So stay tuned. Thank 
Well, we've reached the end of yet another demo, and I hope you've had as much fun as I have. This has been fun. Let's do it again. Okay, bye. Thank you.